I always knew one day I would inspire millions with the help of the cat down the road, and that day has come. Peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers. We are out here in this stunning art gallery in the middle of nowhere. Beautiful day. I'm sending you tons of great energy. Take that, take that, take that. It's all about trusting the universe right now and being patient. Is there something that you are waiting for, that you have been praying for, that you are so desperately hoping comes your way, but it still hasn't? And now it's a matter of trust. How to be patient and trust the universe. Deep divers, let's just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. We got a whole lot to talk about deep divers. Someone wrote to me, Ralph, I love your videos. I've seen how you started from such a small channel to now you have over 1.4 million subscribers. I'm inspired by that. Ralph, my biggest dream is actually to do what you're doing. And that is to inspire millions of people. It's just that Ralph, I'm not having any success at it right now. I'm not seeing the results. I got a YouTube channel, but with only like 500 subscribers, I'm wondering, please talk about how I can be patient and trust the universe. Fantastic question. So that's what we are gonna dive into. Oh, baby. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello there? So a lot of people say, Ralph, how did you do it? How did you create a channel about becoming your greatest version? How did you create a channel about becoming your greatest version, which has over 1.4 million subscribers? I'm gonna show you how I did it. It had everything to do with patience and trusting the process. I always knew one day I would be on the main stage. That day has come. Every single day, Deep Divers, it's about visualizing mentally where you wanna be. A lot of us, as soon as we wake up, we reach for our phone, we go on Instagram, we distract ourselves from our true purpose. When it comes to being patient and trusting the universe, you have to stay focused because once you lose your focus, you lose your opportunity. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. How to be patient and trust the universe. You have to be a visionary out here. You have to believe enough in yourself when other people have stopped believing in you. A lot of people told me along my early journey, Ralph, what you're doing, it won't work out. But how come I'm still here with longevity? Because I knew where I wanted to be and now I'm right here. Forget about a vision board. We've got to start creating a mental vision board. And as soon as you wake up, what I love to do is give myself five minutes to visualize everything I want to achieve in the day. If you can realize that patience is a prerequisite to becoming your greatest version, you start to realize that Rome was not built in a day. I had to believe in myself in the face of adversity but I've got a natural proclivity to feel that the whole entire universe is working in my favor. I can tell you right now, I'm only gonna grow more, more rich, 
more in love, more healthier, more happier. Why? Because I'm living my best life. Mm. Slow motion this side from the art gallery, Deep Divers. Mm. <laughs> How to be patient and trust the universe. Is that you today? Are you in college? Are you starting a business? Are you even starting a YouTube channel and you're not seeing the results you want? How can we all be patient and trust the universe? I've learned this deep divers, listen very closely. The day that you plant the seed and the day that you eat the fruit are different. Are different days. There's a huge difference, right? <laughs> they are different. The day that you plant the seed and the day that you eat the fruit, there's a big difference between those days. Huge difference. A lot of us, we want it right now. We want the instant gratification. We want the quick fix. We want the quick sprint to success. That doesn't exist. You're going to have to sweat. That's right. You're going to have to feel like, oh, I want to quit right now, Ralph. Please help me. Yeah, you're going to have to feel like that and then still persevere and that's how to be patient and trust the universe to really be where you truly want to be. There are going to be dark days. There are going to be times where you are going to be tested. Your willpower will be tested. But if you can remind yourself this, that the day you plant the seed and the day that you eat the fruit, there is a huge difference between those days. So every single day, I would remind myself that it's one step at a time, Ralph. The Great Pyramids were not built in a day. They could have been built in a day. They could have been built in a day with sound technology. That's another story, <laughs> right? How to be patient and trust the universe. I've realized this, that there are cycles in the universe, seasons in the universe. And just because it's not happening right now for you, it doesn't mean that it won't happen for you. It's just that it's not your time yet. I remind myself along my early journey, I wasn't seeing any results whatsoever, but I loved it so much. I was able to be patient. You have to ask yourself, am I truly in love with what I'm doing every single day? Or am I just hurrying to get to the finish line? For me, there is no finish line. I can see myself doing this in the next 10 years. For me, that's why I have longevity in the game. You have to fall more in love with a process than you do the destination. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. How to be patient and trust the universe. There are so many things going on. A lot of us, we feel overwhelmed. What happens when we are multitasking? Everything now is spiraling out of control. What helped me along my journey, deep divers, to be patient and trust the universe was to realize I didn't have to do everything at once. Ego says, do everything at once and then you will be at peace. Spirit says, be at peace and then everything will fall into place. So that's what helped me along my journey, Deep Divers. I realized that my peace of mind was how I cultivated my patience to learn how to trust the universe. If you can also cultivate a greater sensitivity, not only am I a Pisces, but every single day I'm finding new ways to become more sensitive. We become more sensitive to tap into our intuition. My intuition tells me, Ralph, it's only going to get better for you. That's what my intuition tells me. And as a psychic Pisces, that will be true. Can you even see all the words I'm saying right now, how they ended up becoming a self-fulfilling prophecy? To be patient and trust the universe, watch your words like you watch the cat down the road. 
I will make it. I am going to get through this. To be patient and trust the universe, realize that you are going to have to go through a few hoops of fire. You see, the universe wants to know how bad do you want it. A lot of people quit. They start, then they quit. They're like, Ralph, it was too hard. I, I gave up. You gave up at the first hurdle, but the miracle was at the third one. Mm. Stop it, Ralph. Slow motion this side. Mm. How to trust the universe and be patient. I've realized this deep divers, seven day vegan challenge. I love watching fruits on a tree. Mango trees, apple trees. Oh, tell them, Ralph, orange trees, right? There is a process for the trees to bear fruit. There is a process for a baby to be born coming out of the ambiotic fluid. It doesn't happen overnight. And to be patient, to be patient and trust the universe, you have to realize it will never ever happen overnight. There is no overnight success. You have to do it day in, day out. And sometimes you are gonna wanna feel like giving up. But if you can realize that great things take time, Great things manifest when you are realizing this could take years. This could take over 10,000 hours of practice. How to be patient and trust the universe. Shout out to everybody who is going vegan, who is eating plant-based. That too is a process. Being a vegan for over 13 years, for me to have this level of discipline, it took time. That's how to be patient and trust the universe. It was hard ignoring my mom's chicken. Oh, it was hard. Ralph, do you want some? Ah, stop doing that to me, mom. But now I would rather have a whole bunch of grapes in my mouth full of resveratrols, improving my cardiovascular health. How to, how to be patient, deep divers. How to be patient and trust the universe. Realize this. When we think of being patient, what happens? What comes into our mind? We often feel that it's inactivity, docile, not doing much, just sitting there and waiting. No. Being patient has nothing to do with being inactive or being passive. Being patient is all about radical action. And that's how to be patient and trust the universe. Being patient is not sitting back. No, being patient is actually going for what you want, realizing that what you want will not come today. The seeds you plant right now, you will not see the fruit of it for months. That's what patience is and still being okay with that. How to be patient and trust the universe. Every single day I'm getting things wrong, deep divers. I'm learning new things about even recording, about how to inspire people in an even better way. And sometimes it can be pretty darn annoying, exasperating. I'm looking a bit shaky, baby, but I realize that there are levels to this. I'm 1% of my true potential right now. That's all, just 1%. I've got so much more growing to do. I'm on the path to becoming my greatest version. To be patient and trust the universe, you have to realize there are levels to this shit. You've seen me sharing day in, day out, and that's why I got a YouTube Gold Award on my wall. I can look at it every single day, knowing that even though people may have doubted me, I'm the one sitting on the beach. I'm the one in an exquisite art gallery. I'm the one that can say, actually, I got a YouTube Gold Award just off positivity alone. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. I'm the one that can say, I inspired people who now inspire millions. 
only because I was willing to wait. I was willing to be patient. I was willing to trust in my true abilities. I know my power. And that's how to be patient and trust the universe. We have to build a better relationship with ourselves. It's time to get to know ourselves. I know what I can do. I know how many people I impact. It's time you do too. To be patient and trust the universe, you have to form a better relationship with yourself. You have to come to love yourself 100%. Over time, I started to like the sound of my own voice. I said, oh my gosh, Ralph. Your voice is so sexy. <laughs> How to be patient and trust the universe. So being patient, being patient and having patience has got nothing to do with inactivity. It's got everything to do with stepping into radical action. I say this, you've got to do it to move it, to get the ball rolling, to pick up that momentum. You've got to be in the process every single day. You've got to be in the creative act. At the same time, you're patient, realizing that one day you will be where you truly want to be. How to be patient and trust the universe. Don't tell people your plans. Show them your results. I didn't tell you deep divers, oh, I'm going to get a million subscribers. I'm going to get a YouTube Gold Award. I just showed you one day. It just manifested. That's how you got to be in life. To be patient and trust the universe. Realize nobody said it would be easy. Realize that difficult days don't define you. Let difficult days inspire you. Let your mistakes and your failures inspire you to learn how not to do something. You are getting better with your mistakes, as I have stated before, Deep Divers. There are no mistakes when it comes to becoming your greatest version. There are no mistakes when it comes to becoming your greatest version, only stepping stones to become your greatest version. Your mistakes are the stepping stones to become your greatest version. To be patient and trust the universe have tunnel vision. Know where it is you need to go and do away with people who don't believe in you. Do away with people who put you down. Do away with worrying, worrying, worrying what other people think of you. Do away with caring what other people think of you. I don't care what anybody thinks of me because I know how I've changed my life. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm how to be patient and trust the universe. Start investing, start putting that money up to invest in your dream, to invest in your passion. Start surrounding yourself with people who believe in you. That's how to be patient and trust the universe. Deep divers, there you have it. I truly hope that right now you are in the process of becoming your greatest version and just saying, well, Feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello there? Beautiful deep divers. We are here just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Shout out to everybody who's been getting the amazing good ass prana shirts. RalphSmart.com slash clothes. Look amazing. Giving a few away only on Instagram at Infinite Waters. Check out the new amazing book on Amazon Deep Divers, Feel Alive by Ralph Smart. Have a beautiful day. Infinite Waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace. You, your time will come. My time has come. And the cat down the road's time has definitely come. We made it. Kill.